Hey, Flame here, and welcome back to another death battle. Today we're reacting to Rick Sanchez contra el doctor. R you know, Rick, obviously from Rick and Morty, and the doctor from Dr. Ken, who, I don't know, let's get started. I'm not really rooting for anybody. The doctor. Because I don't the cosmos, like either of them. Win an all -out brawl? I just Where's really don't care. It's our job to analyze their weapons. But I'm gonna try my best to, to see who will win a death, death battle. battle. That timing though. Everything about Morty Smith's life was perfectly mm, average. Smith of uh, the dad's average name. Family, the dad's school. last name. Maybe slightly below average intelligence. But everything mm -hmm. changed. That poster, the day though. Yeah! Rick came home. Yeah, in style. Because mm -hmm. Rick Sanchez is anything but average. Rick is yeah. easily the smartest 70. man in the universe. 6 6! Okay, that's most crazy. Criminal. He spent smartest years man in the universe, collector, federal criminal, Mickey D's. Uh huh, planet. Pirate squirrels, Rick Prime. He hates the daughter. One Piece! And then he took her son and put him in life threatening danger. Bye! Thus formed the greatest duo of the generation, Rick and Morty. Yeah, mostly Rick. Morty's the cannon fodder who smuggles grapefruit-sized seeds up his ass. And that's just the first episode. Rick is an unparalleled inventor, always ready to face even the squanchiest of mm. alien foes. He's got your usuals. Laser Cassie, gun, invisibility junk, belt, guns, guns, holograms, belt, laser, as well as manipulators, Mizix, oh my like god. Is it box, is it me? So yeah, I was just say those are the blue things. Life forms that will work tirelessly to accomplish a given task. Mm -hmm. Or a series of android decoys that are so perfectly created uh. they don't even realize they're decoys. Which leads them to create decoys that create decoys and so on. Rick's yeah, because they do not know their decoys. Travel through time and even make and to other universes, level, planets. As in perfectly flat, something normally mathematically impossible. So beautiful mm. that experiencing it for only a moment before returning to non-Euclidean space can emotionally scar you for life. He can even inject mm. you with his own genetic info and instantly chest burst a clone of himself from inside you. That's like a pasty alcoholic gross. What the hell? Rick and Morty travel the universe in the space cruiser. Powered by a microverse mm -hmm. under the hood, this compact starship the handy comes dandy spray laser cruiser. Cans, a fishing line that can tow a solar system. What? And a unique artificial intelligence. With all that crazy sci-fi gear, Rick and Morty's adventures were absolutely bonkers. From disentangling a time loop created by alien snakes what? to battling the metafictional story lord to Rick turning himself into a pickle. pickle. To avoid oh my god, therapy. the whole pickle this thing was atrocious. Man, that was so annoying. Then address his feelings. Actually, pickles a fruit. Because boy, oh boy, Z have a lot of them. Behind the fart jokes, and because it's a cucumba. Rick harbors Pepino. bitter emotional agony. Way back when, in a completely different universe, the Rick we know had a happy life until another Rick from another universe took it all away. The bastard. But like me, what? Rick is a true inventor, and this tragedy spurred him to craft his greatest creation, the portal gun. My scans indicate it creates holes through mm. all aspects of space time, allowing Rick to travel Wait. anywhere in the multiverse. It sounds exhausting. It can do more than took that. everything it from him, then how does the, his daughter <laughs> Morty's mom's That's alive? I don't know. Okay. Nah. Decades of traveling the multiverse, hunting down the man who ruined his life, darkened Rick's heart. He began to ask himself, Well, it's just ruined his life. I don't know what the ruined thing is. An infinite number of each person. I'm How assuming it's the individual his daughter matter. and wife, like but I don't know. Like, like time he accidentally turned all his daughter's alive in the show. He and Morty That's had to gross. escape to a parallel universe where they swap places with recently deceased versions of themselves. Mm. What does that do to a person? Makes a lot. Bad. When Rick found the interdimensional council of Ricks, he kicked their teeth in. Like they say, he's the rickest Rick of them all. That he is. Mm -hmm. Just touching the hem of his coat can activate his energy shield or even induce instant death. Yes, instant. No, it isn't explained why. Though That's considering crazy. this reaction, it's likely a chemical released through the coat's lining. Rickest Rick, whiz. Mm -hmm. He's dodged an orbital space laser from just a few feet away. He's so smart, he figured out he's in a TV show. Yeah, what? Really? Perhaps most he knows the fourth wall? Okay. A series of clone bodies that his consciousness can be uploaded to upon his death. 
Despite eventually taking it offline, his mind is still connected to every other Operation Phoenix across the multiverse. Giving him an infinite number of extra lives, even if some of them are shrimps and fascists. Some of his devices can destroy the Earth, the universe, even numerous Whoa. alternate timelines. He actually did that just to manipulate the stock market. Though underneath the just drunken the god complex, oh my god. there's still a glimmer of the family man Rick used to be. Well, as much as he insists that love is just a chemical reaction in the brain, he does care about his daughter and grandkids. I mean... And Jerry, sometimes. He's, he's not wrong, it is a chemical reaction Zeus, in the brain, the but... The President of the United States and the... Actual not Barack! Even exiting the bounds of fiction into meta-reality, fighting Jesus H. Leaping Christ Jesus. himself, and meeting Joseph Campbell. Talk about a hero's journey. Challenge Rick at your will. He might look like a scrawny, drunken septuagenarian, and he is, but he's also somehow the greatest warrior in the universe. Oh my god, not the you anime. Lick his balls. Ian Chesterton and Barbara Wright were just your mm. average school teachers. I forgot the doctor student. started like in Susan the 60s or 50s, right? Or something almost like that. Like an alien. And when they met her grandfather and his police box, and then they it got like revised in like and that police box in the 2000s, I want to say, a two-in-one spaceship and time machine. Thus, they were whisked away into the stars, mm. kicking off over half a century of timey-wimey adventures with a revolving cast of companions like Sarah Jane Smith, Rose Tyler, the Brigadier, Amy Pond, and so many more. Yeah, Complete I only know about Amy Pond and the ten. This madman with a box there, if I tell, remember correctly. History. Is that the number? He was only the one that associated with Amy. Doctor. doctor who? Exactly. Doctor exactly? Though the doctor's origins are shrouded in mystery, we know they were born Still? several thousand years ago and earned degrees in cosmic science and higher dimensional physics. Time Lord, at least a thousand. Had seven spouses, including Cleo and Marilyn. Ah, bruh. Forget those adventures. That's Jason a lot of good head. Okay, I'll stop. Dueling Robin Hood with a spoon or shoving Hitler in a closet. Yeah, we know <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> That's fine. It's British. But if you don't know who's yeah. who, you're probably wondering, who who are all these people? A bunch of old guys, young guys, a lady, and one of the three stooges. Oh yeah, I forgot that. The Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey. Time Lord Gallifrey, that's human, stupid. But couldn't be more different. Not only do they have two hearts, they literally experience time differently. They can see past, present, and future all at once. They can resist temporal phenomena Fourth such wall as time awareness, stops and hypnosis, can tamper with fixed hypnosis. points in time. Re I knew about the regen and uh, makes them super time manipulation. Hard to and nearly impossible to erase from any timeline. They can even breach the bounds of space and talk directly to you. Yes, isn't you he home. the fourth one? Hello there. Time Lords are practically walking dead. The reason I know that is because of the a lot of them would be proud to be called that. Battle. Yeah, the duck ran away for a reason. Time Lords are a bit dodgy. The doctor has hypnotized with a glance, resisted mind control, survived deadly radiation, and mm. even learned transmigration. As in, oh, so that's what that word is. An object out of thin air. It sounds crazy, but it's apparently standard fare for Time Lord Academy. But the reason why there are so I ca many I kind of get why they could. Time Lords have a funny way of cheating death. Upon regeneration. Receiving a fatal wound, the doctor undergoes regeneration, gaining a new healthy body. <laughs> it's way more than that. While reloading, the doctor has regrown lost limbs, become strong enough to knock down steel doors, and even weaponized his own time energy. Downside being, if a Time Lord dies during regeneration, that ends the process mm -hmm. permanently. To date, we've seen 14 versions of the doctor, plus a few extras mixed in here and there. Hell, by the time you're watching this, you've probably seen the 15th or the 16th. The experiences each doctor gains changes and affects mm. the next doctor and the next. I know so that I forgot which number, the but memories, the doctor becomes a girl, one of them. Some like and some people ties, lost their minds. Like jelly babies. Some kick butt with Venusian karate, and some really hate the monarchy. I kind of get why, just because the whole time the doctor has been male. always have one thing in common. Yeah. They are British. Well, one other thing in common. The doctor always enjoys the thrill of adventure, and they've got plenty of tech to help, like the sonic screwdriver. Oh Utilizing my god. Utilizing sonic waves to manipulate nearby objects, it can pick locks, cause detonations, I forgot about the screwdriver. I had a friend who had it. I'm like, bro, you're such a nerd. Oh, it's a perfect pacifist tool for resolving the DSI. Conflict. It's only weakness is that it doesn't do wood. 
Or turkey. Though considering it can invisible, invis oh, invisibility and watch. Molecules and even erase memories. I'm like, why do you I'll want an invisible it. watch? The doctor doesn't often carry weapons. There's an invisibility watch, a time travel ring, psychic paper that tricks basically the everyone, blue man group. and perception filters that prevents others from noticing certain things, even people. But the doc does reluctantly have a few weapons stored away, like the dematerialization gun. Who have it paid all the doctors? Hobby Lobby pipes, but the demat can literally erase you from time. As in, it causes you to have never existed in the if first place. Say. But if you never existed, then Austin the gun Powers. would have never needed to fire. Which have I ever seen a single Austin like Powers? Which means the gun would need Nor to Invader fire. Nor Invader Zim. Did you say something? That's not the only time erasing tool in the oh doctor's God, box, he has an infinity gauntlet. You know, the box. Shabby blue police box on the outside. Incredible time machine that's bigger on the inside. This what? is the TARDIS. The time and mm. relative dimension in space is a sentient It's an acronym? I then never knew that. It's strong enough to tow planets. Powerful enough to stop antimatter from destroying I thought it was just universe, like a dumb name given to it. To like, this is the TARDIS. From Zeus. Yes, the god Zeus. It can even adjust its interior to an infinite degree, both in terms of space and time. So, uh -huh. uh, if the TARDIS doesn't like you, you might get lost inside it forever. Ah. Don't piss off the TARDIS. Or any of the but Doctor's like, enemies. Some of the universe's deadliest monsters. How Cybermen, do you Zygons, make angels, the TARDIS and the smack? Slavine, the big chunky aliens that took over 10 Downing Street. That's and disgusting. Even when the doctor Those look like they belong in Bayonets. He's tough enough to survive bolts of lightning that vaporize an ordinary human. He's even dodged half a dozen disintegration rays while also improvising several thousand calculations in a matter of nanoseconds. Yeah, the doctor's super smart. So smart, his brain once powered a 1,000-year-old supercomputer. The doctor's outwitted cosmic entities like the Great Intelligence, the Time Lord Nemesis, the Master, and apparently the original Satan. Surter! Who oh, never the most frightening alien in the multiverse, because that oh, would be the, the Daleks. Daleks. All right, bear with me. Yeah, this is they the only thing. Yeah. They like trash cans with plungers, but they can exterminate anything that gets in their way, even all of space and time, like when they battled the Time Lord's to extinction in the last great time war. A war that mm. showed a darker side to the Doctor. Thrust into a conflict that put all of reality at risk, the Doctor like, became a warrior, a soldier, a killer. A sight of it Are Daleks like a race or did someone made him? Cheeky grin. Finally, in a single moment, the Doctor pressed a big red button to end the war oh, and no. all of Gallifrey shiny once big and for all. As much Is as shiny he didn't like the Time Lords, the Doctor cares for life above all things. So genociding his own people was the worst thing that could possibly happen. As the last of the Time Lords, but the, the Doctor proved to be though. the most dangerous person in the universe. Isolation threatened to turn him into the very type of Time Lord he despised, mm. a master who controls the laws of time. The Time Lord Victorious. And God help your immortal soul if you piss him off. If he's desperate or if you threaten his friends, you won't be prepared for how far he'll go. Like trapping you in every mirror in existence, imprisoning you in the event horizon of a collapsing galaxy, That's or crazy. suspending you in time to be used as a scarecrow. Fortunately, Gallifrey wasn't destroyed. It turns out the Doctor all of the doctors saved the time lords but just forgot about it until time could catch up to them it's complicated ah, still okay. even the biggest l turned out to be a dumb that's how you know you're fantastic but a doctor's job is never finished without witness without reward you'll never know when they'll show up to save the day but if you happen to be up against the doctor there's really only one thing you can do run Help help dot com slash death battle. All right, who am I picking? All I don't right, know. The matins are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. Because Doctor has regeneration, and he could just keep going to the next Doctor, next Doctor. Oh, jeez, Rick. So for the only way for Rick to win is to kill the Doctor during regen. But the thing is, Rick, how could the Doctor kill Rick? Uh, let's see, cause it's like the thing is, the doctor could be fighting, could could be fighting the not real Rick the whole time, and then the real Rick just shows up at the end, and like, haha, gotcha, Mink, and just kills. So like, I feel it has to be more tactical and more intelligent intellectual battle. 
It was my fault. Shut the fuck up, Morty. I knew timelines oh, were suicide swearing. morons, but I didn't know they never invented rearview mirrors. Are you sick? You're the one who hit me. You're the one that hit me. Son of a bitch, he's ignoring me. Okay. Ooh. Okay, you're not escaping. Well, the thing is, Zaka is kind of at a disadvantage because at the two v one right now. Okay, I'll stop. No, 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 no! Oh, what did they do to you? What? Huh. Hmm? Done arcade. Arcade battle, cameo drop, techno. Keep quipping, asshole. Maybe you'll find a good joke on the ground next to your teeth. A sword and a spoon. Stitch versus rocket. Ooh, I like the callbacks. Was that a kiddo? This looks fun. Do they have a little shop? I like little shops. Was that Boma? That's the T Rex. Oh, yeah, the screwdriver blew up his techno, techno stuff. It's the techno, techno stuff. Well, Whoa. Artifacts. Ancient ruins. Motherfucker. He took the point out gun! What? 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 Mm. Oh, my ball, sucker. <laughs> mm. Ooh, sucker punch! Fight back! Fight back! I just noticed this whole thing has been animated and not in like 16 oh, bit. Brilliant old girl, switching rooms around. Fantastic! Mm-hmm. Makes sense. It helps the doctor. D mad reality what? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, regen time. It's fun to be the class clown so you get shot. Now hurry up. I got a grandson waiting on me. He won't die an idiot like you. I know your type. The nihilists know it all. But oh, yeah, I haven't chosen who who's rubbish. gonna win. I just said it just it's depends on the scenario. Quite understood. I'm the doctor. And I don't want to go. I'm going with Rick. Cause like, there's a clear way to beat the doctor in a certain region. Yeah. I was wrong! To yourself. Uh, uh, I guess so. Then you've got a bright future ahead. Don't be a cynic. Damn, the, I took a, my first L and it had to be the doctor. Sorry, forget me, I'll haunt your ass. The ironic. How ironic it is. I talked so much trash about the doctor and I lost it. Portal. Let's break this down. First off, Rick and the doctor could both dodge lasers, making mm -hmm. them pretty even, so neither could reliably win a quick draw. Also, neither have shown any consistent signs of strength, all that different from an above average human. The doctor could get a superhuman strength boost during regeneration, but that is fairly incidental. So as far as physical ability is concerned, neither had a significant edge. But when it comes to weapons, Rick had way more deadly killing machines. A lot of which could wipe out whole planets, galaxies, and more. If he could get the jump on the doctor, he'd have a good chance of winning. Of course, there's similar speeds, but he probably wasn't getting that opportunity. There's mm. no denying his firepower was superior overall, but that still had to contend with the doctor's technology. Yeah, I kind of upset that crazy he didn't see the doctor regenerate to another doctor. The doctor matched or countered pretty much all of it. Being a time lord meant he could resist. You know, like at least one region would have been fine, it. at least. And the sonic screwdriver could hack and even destroy nearly everything Rick had. Yeah, that's the sonic true. The has even disabled teleportation and time travel technology before, making it more than capable of hijacking Rick's portal gun. 
gun, which has been hacked in the past. With that gun, Rick was kind of a sitting duck. Operation Phoenix makes killing Rick permanently almost impossible. But the doctor's reality-altering tech like the DMAT meant there would be no Rick left to upload to a new body at all, effectively ending the fight in a single shot. Makes sense, and makes sense. And that was hardly the only reality-warping super weapon the doctor had access to. The doctor's technology presented a clear advantage. Now let's talk ships. This one's pretty clear cut. The space cruiser was a deadly machine that towed a solar system, but the TARDIS single handedly held off a universe destroying event. That's an edge for the doctor. But perhaps most important of all was their experience and intelligence. Rick mm -hmm. mastered space and time to the point of becoming a veritable god. But you can say the same for the doctor, who is way older. Them like the doctor has been Rickin for many times longer than Rick himself. That's true. And when push he has comes to show, more knowledge the doctor than is Rick just does. as experienced of a warrior as Rick ever was, if not more so. Eleven spent 900 years battling Daleks, Cybermen, Zontarans, and more on Trenzalore and came out on top. And don't forget how quickly the doctor can formulate, calculate, and initiate plans. Like when he dodged half a dozen rays and improvised thousands of calculations in his head to siphon the ray's energy into a teleporter, all in a matter of nanoseconds. Rick usually relies on being the smartest guy in the room. When he's forced to battle people at his own level, he's often outsmarted, like with the Prime Rick or, gasp, a Morty. Rick was a formidable genius, but the Doctor's incredible technology, unmatched intelligence, and thousands of years of experience gave him the win. Ah, jeez. I bet Rick was absolutely mortified to lose. Oh, well. The winner is the doctor. Whatever. Don't rub it in. What is my record? I'm Ben, the voice of Wiz. Thank you so uh, much for watching. We I'm undefeated. Like, I lost my undefeated. I'm no longer I'm undefeated. I'm not a death battle member yet. Click I'm mad. I'm, I'm mad so about it. I'm not going to upload this. Screw mm -hmm. it. You will never see it. Goku. Kakaroto versus Superman. Three. Why are we doing the third one? We already know. Why? They probably just doing it for views. I don't know. Unless I'm guessing. What would be the 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 third reason for the fight? Because last time didn't didn't. No wait. The last time they did it, it was because Goku did. Goku and God or Blue, right? So they they never fought with, with Ultra Instinct before, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they're doing the third one now. But anyways, uh, the link to the original video down in the description below. Go watch it, so like yourself. Support Death Battle and support me by liking and subscribing to me. See y'all the next reaction. Uh, bye bye.